So the Group 3 Gordon Richard Stakes will end day one then. And it's over a mile and a quarter. And at the top we've got a Sarka play for Vinny Gerard Vidono, Darren Thompson, Sierra Success and Johan Vermeer, Leon Van Rinsburg, Philly Buster Hare, Martin Leedham, Paco Crystal, James Shea, Thunder Thor, Craig Allen, World Class David Hooley, Awaken at Dawn, Craig Allen, Dakar Girl and Francesca Camani, Dan Hughes, Green Mantle, Craig Beckwith, Jane Seymour, Kevin Meenan, Light My Fire, David Robertson and Pebbles, James Shea. Big field, heavy going. This could be an interesting race and maybe a surprise or two even as they are all ready to go. And away they go. Those two drawn wide there, Philly Buster Hare and the first of the Leon Van Rensburg horses are going to struggle a little bit because they're going to need to get in onto the fence as quickly as they can, I think. But it's Thunder Thought in the lead. Philly Buster Hare pulling for its head. Paco Crystal is close up. Francesca Camari, the grey winner of the Oaks a couple of seasons ago, is going well in second, but it's Thunder Thor who's now settled down into the lead. Thunder Thor then is going to be the leader from Francesca Camani and Light My Fire then, Awaken at Dawn after that one. Johan Vermeer was the one wide on the track for Leon van Rensburg and is happy to stay wide. It would seem maybe the going might be a little bit better in that part of the track. Who knows? World class for David Hooley is also choosing to stay wide when it could easily tack over from the back. But it's Thunder Thor then as they pass the six furlong pole in the lead from Vadono, who's now come through in a second. Then Sierra successes after that. Paco Crystal, we see them from the other side of the track. Then you can see Thunder Thor is clear by about two to three lengths. The purple jacket of Vidono is in second. Sierra successes on that one's outside. Paco Crystal is going the shortest way. Then Francesca Camani on that one's outside. Light My Fire is still there as well. One or two of these are going to be looking for racing room in the centre of the pack, and one or two of them are going to be caught wide on this turn. But it's Thunder Thor who's the leader then still from Paco Crystal. Sierra successes after that one then comes Awaken at Dawn, Vidono is next then Light My Fire, Francesca Camani is going to get a dream one up the inside by the looks of it, one or two of them losing their place, Philip Buster Ayers dropped away, Jane Seymour's the back marker, but it's Paco Crystal in front, Paco Crystal from Francesca Camani, who's coming through to challenge in second, then Thunder Thor and Awaken at Dawn and Vidono is after that one, Pebbles is now starting to make significant progress up the centre of the track Johan Vermeer and Dakar Girl trying to run on their inside, the final third on it's Paco Crystal in the lead by about a length from Awaken at Dawn, Francesca Camani right over on the far side, Johan Vermeer is finishing well, Philly Buster Hare is coming through like a train at the death as well, but it's Paco Crystal Awaken at Dawn, they flash past the post and Dakar Girl and Philly Buster Hare got up there as well, in a bunch finish, it was almost four diving for the line, but which one of them has held on, I'm not sure it might be Awaken at Dawn looks like Awaken at Dawn's taking it for Craig Allen it's close, but Awaken at Dawn has taken it for Craig Allen. Paco Crystal for James Shea was second. Dakar Girl for Dan Hughes third. Philly Buster Hare for Martin Leader was fourth. And Light My Fire for David Robertson was fifth.